very happy to attend such exciting event. And it looks like not conference, but like a performance show. <laughs> and you know, the ecosystem builder and robot designer and bicycle, you know, rider. I didn't know Tokyo is such creative, you know, city. <laughs> And, but I hope we have more and more inspiring speakers today. And I'm really glad I made it because yesterday, you know, coming to Taipei is to me not going abroad, but visiting another home. That's why I forgot bringing my passport. So <laughs> <laughs> I am almost uh, missed the flight, but fortunately, my flight was delayed one hour and a half. That's why I'm here today. <laughs> So today I want to share my experience about loft work. I started in 2000 in a small one room. And now, so let me explain what loft work is. So we started the company to make a platform for creative people where we can connect each other, inspire each other, and bring new possibility. And starting two people, now we have 100 staff and produce about 300 projects per year. So what we design, we love design the space because to be creative and to have good idea, we need good environment, not, you know, white wall, uh, office chair, it doesn't help us to be creative. We need this kind of, you know, the great space. That's why we love design the space. And now we are taking part in city level development in Tokyo. And the key elements of the development is to have open innovation space for the city. And in the space, we will try to connect designers, engineers, students, but not like that. We also aim to include that residential people like kids, mom and dad, and all of us co-design the future. So that's why we not only put the co-working space, but we add the cafe space and free space for ch children and meeting space that, that is the concept, and it will open next spring. Of course, we love the internet, and we design digital interface. We just released the interface for the Android uh, mobile a week ago. Please watch the video. So this is short uh, video, but this module, you can choose the information you need and you can uh, select the design and make your whole uh, design. And our hidden message is iPhone is cool, but it's not the only choice. And if we become creative, Android can be also the choice. So we aim to, you know, exceed the iPhone and now only five days over uh, 10,000 download. So that is our challenge as well. And also we design products, sometimes uh, product, the new products for hair care, uh, consumer electronics, but we love design already existing products, especially the product which have the history and tradition, that kind of things. So we started this project five years ago, and we are matching young emerging creators and local makers. And this project started in Niigata Prefecture. The Niigata Prefecture, this region is very small, 
and it is suffering from aging society, losing population, and heaviest snow in Japan. So many people abandon this area, but connecting creative people and local makers, it is changing the, the future of this small village. We have designed about 100 products connecting uh, you know, the, the designers. And what is unique is we use internet to give more opportunity to collaborate. So actually, we have got uh, design application from the world. And this year, Cyprus Island won the, the best design award for this project. And traditional Japanese sake changed into this uh, design, and sales jumped to 20 times. And this is a rice package for the historical maker. So now we feel, OK, redesigning product is not only product design, but it's like a communication design and also reinventing the opportunity of tourism. So we started new project last month. It's more focused on culture exchange and relational tourism of Ishigaki Island. Do you know Ishigaki Island? Um, only one or two. Good. It's only, it's south part of Japan, uh, here, and only 30 minutes flight from here. And amazingly, this island has lots of cultural elements and historical elements with Taiwan more than with Tokyo. For example, they learn how to plant pineapple. Your, your country is teaching this small island how to make pineapple and pineapple cakes. So the Ishigaki gov city government decided, let's connect tai Taipei, Ishigaki, and Tokyo. These three cities are the key elements, and inviting Asian uh, designers to reinvent the, the future of this small island. We selected 10 traditional products from this island. And they are looking, they are waiting for your innovative and creative design. And now it's open. So please feel how sweet this small island is. This is a movie I took when I visit the small, uh, small tuna factory in the island. So uh, through the, the power of products, we are connecting people and culture and the new style of uh, tourism. And my latest challenge is about Fav Cafe, but luckily, the thought already uh, explained most of part I wanted to tell from now. So uh, I will skip some part and we are using the exact same photo, but we started this uh, last spring. And hidden story is we didn't think to start this cafe. We just had summer camp in a small room because we didn't know what we could make with 3D printers or laser cutters. So we asked FabLab leader to bring such digital machines, and we had all night uh, workshop with 20 people. And we invited, you know, partners, friends, kids, and drink, and didn't work on the, the prototype. But finally, we found, we are so surprised how creative we are. And someone said, oh, this is what we made. 
and we are very unskilled designer. So if we open the space for everyone, it's easy to come in and make something that would be great. That is uh, the start point of Fab Cafe. So there is tech shop, Fab Lab, but Fab Cafe is always very open to join. I mean, uh, just having fun is okay, just having coffee is okay. So this is the concept of Fab Cafe. So coffee with digital fabrication machines. And my friend first put laser cutter on the Mac. He was really nervous when he push the start button, but we found out it was really beautiful. And some student, Beza got on a denim and made this beautiful dress. And this book was invented by an architect. When we open it, 300 degree, and it become a commercial product in the United States now. And children also enjoy at Five Cafe drawing the drawing, and then send the data to the laser cutter and make own uh, macaron to the parents. And we also made a 3D printed chocolate on the Valentine Day. And also the Tokyo uh, men scan themselves and give the gumi to the white day. So that kind of things we are doing, but we are believing, you know, having fun is a starting point of to be creative. So we have lots of workshops. And, you know, already Todd said, I'm very happy the second Fab Cafe is in Taipei. And we are looking for more and more to come. So, and also we are planning to launch Loftwork Taipei. I'm looking for the friends. So let me close my uh, talk with my uh, mentor, like Joy Ito, the Media Lab Director, we decided what is a motto for us for the, the coming year. And we decided three things. Don't plan. Just do it. And let's do what we cannot imagine now. And I think you can do it. Thank you very much. <laughs>